Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Today, I'm here to show you the Atlas, a new module by Vostok Instrument. Okay, so let me show you how the module works and what it does. It is four identical multimode filters, each with low pass, high pass, and band pass. You can select on this little switch. You have an audio in for each, but if you plug something here, it will go down like this. But for example, you could do plug something here and it will go here and plug another thing here that will go here. So make two pairs. It's very flexible routing. The main FM input is an attenuated 10 volt peak to peak. And it same as the audio input, it will go down to the other filter. So you can control, for example, the four filters at once with just only one control signal. Then you have a secondary input, which is either FM2, unattenuated, or control over the resonance. The resonance doesn't feel like it's eating bass, like on some other filters. There must be a bass compensation circuit, gain compensation circuit into it. And it goes to self-oscillation if you crank up the resonance. And as you can control it, you can decide whenever that happens which is quite fun. And the main part that we will see in detail later is that scan function that lets you, at this output, go from one filter to the other, and that you can, of course, CV control, which is awesome. So let's go for it. So what I have here is a mix of three VCOs from Senna mixed into this VCA here, only used as a mixer. Those are all going to Senna in low-pass mode. So this is the low-pass. No resonance. Mid resonance, high resonance. Then we have a high pass filter. That's well drippy when you put very low frequency wave into it. And we also have a bandpass, which is always my favorite. So it's easy to have it a bit more well behaved if you don't put too much volume into it. Now let me show you what I think is the best feature of this module that sets it apart. Yeah. 
instead of using the independent output, you can use that output below. That is a scan output. So just feeding one set of sound, whatever it is, to this input will then feed it to each of the four filters. My favorite use so far has been to do the top one in low pass, those two in band pass, and the last one in high pass. With this scan fader or CV input, you can travel, scan through the four outputs. It is with an envelope. Let's put lots of reverb on this. Or you can start to control all the different filters and scan to this either very slowly or with a very slow CV. Hey there, sir. First patch with the Atlas for you. I couldn't try out this patch in this case without taking advantage of the four voice and round robin mode to do a giant polyphonic modular thing. Sound good. What I love about this approach to polyphonic thing is that each voices can be slightly different and we can filter and even choose the amount of envelope that goes to each VCA to make something a bit more dynamic. So let me change a few things and hear how it sounds. This is how it is right now. there's no modulation to the filter. One of the good things about the normalization of everything is that we could have an LFO, for example, from the Fusion Modulator. I'm going to send it to an attenuator. Then to Frequency. It will be applied to each of the four filters. But 
but we still have access to for frequency modulation input. This is why I've used some stackable over there. So each envelope is sent to a VCA for each voice. I've moved them to the asset, so I have also attenuated version of those that I can send to each of the CV input over there. So let's patch it up. Okay, back with another patch in another case. The bass sound is just a square oscillator to the top filter in low pass mode, going to a VCA with an envelope, classic stuff. The gate is melted to advance that to 45T sequencer. So I have that accent sort of thing happening where it's just also controlling the filter as well as the envelope on the other control input. So you have that sort of classic bass sound that basically everyone likes. Let's put it with some beat here. There's a little bit of spring reverb from my 3180 on my mixing desk that's recording everything. That's bouncy, that's good. How to make it more bouncy? Well, I have that saw wave going here, which means that it's going to the tree other filters, which are all set to bandpass, each with a slightly different cut of frequency. And here we go. Vowels. So all three filters are mixed in there, each controlled with one row. So I can have different type of vowels or thing on each step. And I also have the Voltio on the corner here that's basically offsetting everything. change the levels of each bandpass in my mixer here. I find that mixing like one simple low pass bass patch with a volley kind of patch like this does very quickly get you into weirdo AFX territory. So as we're here on that sort of patching, I was wondering, of course, what would it sound like if we ping those filters? And instead of sending the saw wave over there, I'm going to send just a super short envelope. I also have a little bit of echo. This does sound pretty good. Okay. Stereo. With all the normalization both of the audio and the control, it's quite easy to get stereo stuff going on, such as dispatch. But 
For example, if I remove the square from the bottom channel, I still get the saw being sent. So it's easy to take one signal mono and make it stereo. Also here I have the keyboard CV. There, so it's been sent to all the filters at once. I could replace this with control from the sine wave oscillator. For some gnarly filter FM. Now instead of sending the sequencer, I will send two envelopes. It's slightly different decay times. That's good. Let's go for some jungle beat. Okay, here is the last patch that I wanted to show because I found that it sounds pretty cool. Let's call it the drum machine patch. So far, just that laser kick drum. Sort of noisy snare. Sort of hi-hat. Zappy percussion. It's all there. Love this kind of sounds. Oh, is it done? I'm using that good old Beatstep Pro, sending four triggers out of the drum sequencer, all going to the Fuji envelopes. Could have sent the trigger directly to the Atlas, but I wanted to be able to shape them depending on what I wanted. And they're all going to each filter to control their resonances. So in the second modulation input, and they are all have their modulation switch to resonance. So basically it triggers the self-resonance of each of these filters. We are not hearing anything else than each of the four filters, each being used as a drum voice. The snare only has some white noise as a modulation source. Nothing at the input. The hi-hat is another flavor of noise at the modulation. I haven't done much attenuation and stuff. I just wanted to hear how it would sound like this. If you change the length of the envelope, of course, you get some different things. But also one of the cool stuff is that if you just offset the resonance, as you see right now, they're all at zero. But if I just offset them manually, I get a lot of controls over the drum sound.
basically giving me some sort of a decay control. Because the envelope will put it in resonant mode longer, so we, we will have a longer ring. And of course the frequency of each filter will give me different sounds. Spring Reverb on! It's a lovely patch. Very electro. Many thanks to José at Vostok Instrument for sending this module and the others that you can see in the video for me to try so I can demonstrate them to you. As always, I will give away some samples on my Patreon page. So feel free to go check it out if you want some samples, teaching, or if you just want to support the channel. You can also buy some stuff from the affiliate links in the description, and you should watch the other videos made for this module by Ben Diffkid and The Unperson. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.